So with the new year coming up pretty soon, I thought it would be interesting to share some of the inner habits that dramatically changed my life. Rather than just sharing some generic new workout, eat right, journal type of advice. So in this video, let's jump into three more monk mode related habits that I think can really, really help you this year to just feel better. What's up guys, Alex Hine, author of the book Master the Day. Now I've included the first link in the description is for a free goal setting worksheet. Now if you download that and fill it out, it'll help you plan out how to have the most incredible year going forward this year. So check it out right there in the description. So these goals that I want to share with you are really all about the aspects of desire in the human mind. So the things that make us deeply feel discontent or depressed or anxious and how to actually overcome them. So the first desire to watch out for, and it sounds crazy, but it's the desire for stability in life. You know, I was listening to this book by Pema Chodron, the Buddhist monk, and what she said really hit me like a ton of bricks. She said, only to the extent that we expose ourselves over and over to annihilation can that which is indestructible be found in us. And the reason it hit me is because there are certain things in life we take for granted. Sometimes it's your dad or your mom who then dies and you wish that you had the last conversation be a good one. Sometimes it's you have this amazing group of friends and you feel so at peace and content like you belong and then something happens and that's not there anymore. Or you had the stable job or the great business and then that doesn't work out. Or maybe it was the love life where you were dating this person and you were certain about them or certain about your marriage and that implodes and just everything comes crumbling down. Well, this first desire to watch out for is the desire for everything to be put into neat little boxes and to be controlled because unfortunately, that's just not how it goes. And we often don't learn this lesson until we've lived long enough to be exposed to that. Because the feeling here is that even when you do things right or everything right, bad things can still happen to you and often do. So if you think that I'm a good person, I always work out, I always am happy that nothing bad will happen, it's not necessarily true. And if you have that belief and then something bad happens, it leads to this, why me? I hate you, God. Why could this happen? So just watching out for the desire for everything to be stable all the time. So building off of this first desire is just recognizing all the different desires that your mind, your emotions have. You know, for example, one of them that really got to me in my 20s was the desire to figure out the purpose of life. The desire to figure out where I was going and what I was doing and what is the master plan. Like, where is all of this going? Just that desire by itself gave me a lot of angst. My 20s were really, you know, the first year or two of my 20s professionally were pretty unhappy. And even though I wasn't really depressed, I would just be at my job from 9 to 5 wondering, like, what is the point in this? Why sit at this freaking job earning money to exist on a piece of land and then repeat every day that isn't even really that fun or isn't even really that exciting? Like, why is that happening? But even that by itself was a desire for something. The very act of wanting something immediately puts your spirit at dis-ease. And so if you can recognize that I'm sitting on this couch now, I'm trying to make amazing content, but the desire for anything other than what's happening right now will immediately take yourself out of a state of contentment and begin making some altered state that's not a calm state. The third desire to watch out for is the desire for definite answers all the time. So I call this the desire for closure because as me being a McLovin type dude until I was in my maybe late 20s, it was always me. I was the one typically getting rejected by women. And whenever that happens, you always want these justifications like, Tell me what I did wrong. Like, I, I want to improve it. I want to fix it. I just want to know so I can not have that happen again. And those conversations always suck. Every single time, they suck to have. The person doesn't want to share them. You really are becoming needy and needing the answer. But sometimes it's not even with dating. Sometimes it is. You're the health conscious person who suddenly gets lung cancer. You've never smoked anything a day in your life. Maybe you are the person who did everything to hold the marriage together. And after everything you sacrificed, that person doesn't want to be with you anymore. Or maybe it's you pay extreme 
prices. You pay an extreme price and a heavy toll to advance in your career, and in all that, you get fired or the business fails. And it's like, what? What the hell? I did everything right. But what I want to say is, some things in life are just hard fucking calls. And shit really does just happen. But coming up with a narrative that helps you understand it, that these things are always happening to help me get better, can be really helpful. But this last desire to watch out for is the desire for closure, or to try to understand everything, or to try to piece together why things happen to you. Because that is not something life can guarantee to you that will give you peace. You have to accept that this was a really hard call. I don't know why that happened to me. I just accept that it happened to me and not try to explain it away any other way. So I hope that helps you guys. Those are three of these inner game tactics that have really helped me in the last six months or so where I've tried to make sense of a lot of things in my life that were not so easy to make sense of. But again, you can check the first link in the description for the free goal setting worksheet to help you plan out your goals and your upgrades to yourself this coming year. So check it out, the first link in the description and then the most recent videos right there and right there.